pain. Well, we're back to another match review here, and it's two points dropped against Hibs, man, at Easter Road. Quite a lot of talking points here. Awful defending, awful refereeing, and people just can't finish their chances. But we kicked off the game. I mean, I actually thought we started no bad initially. Um, some great play down the right hand side initially. Um, and then Arfield had a shot that was essentially cleared off the line. A couple of decent common goes and shit like that. But then Hibbs's chance essentially comes from Barisic not closing down. I can't remember who it was. Um, but it's whipped in and then right is free in the box. I mean, you've got a question. One, what's Barisic doing? And two, what is the people in the middle doing? The guy's just fucking not marked. He pegs McLaughlin while he's um, at it like that. And then the whole team just got deflated. And essentially dead. And then Goldson's like, oh, and then Goldson's like, Getting them all, oh, it's good, more of food. They shouldn't, they shouldn't need Goldson to get them more of food. They should be like, right, let's get the fucking finger out here and get the job done. But I said in the preview, this is one of the teams that we're going to cop against that actually have been good and have got an attacking threat and aren't just going to sit back like shite bags. And I think we've been fucking exposed in this game because Aberdeen aren't, aren't, aren't like Hibs, in my opinion. They're not going to come out like this. We've seen that in the first game of the season, and plus it's the first game of the season, so different mindset. Now we're obviously quite a few games in, and I think some players have got exposed defensively here. Goldson and Tav particularly. Um, Barisic, yes, for the first goal, but I don't hang, I hang apart for that. He was pretty decent at the back. But then, just before half-time, great play from Kent. He basically drags us out of this, whips it in back post. Morales takes a touch, bangs it in. Main man makes it one one. You're thinking right, equalise just before the break. We'll go on and win this. Surely we're creating more chances in the second half. But oh well, I mean I say that in the first half there was a couple of elbow issues. I think the one of Morelos wasn't anything particularly mal malice about it. But the one in Hadji I think should have been a red. I mean I wouldn't give it for a red personally. Because I'm not a shite bag and I kind of like the hard hitting thing. I've already explained that. But you've got to, you've there's got to be consistency. Morelos does that. He gets fucking locked in a cage and shipped back to Colombia. That's just the truth of it. But he doesn't. It's Hadji that receives it. The guy gets booked for it. Right, we move on. And then in the second half, again, we were better. I mean, we were creating chances. And our goal, the second goal, was brilliant. I mean, Tav actually. Like I say, Tav's pretty good going forward. I just think defensively the guy's shit. Because he, he spends half his time playing as a winger. You know what I mean? And doesn't really know how to defend. But plays it in. Arfield scores it to Haji. He scores it back to Arfield. Great finish. And then you're thinking, right, we're playing great. We're going to have to go and win this. And there's a bit of a goal mouth scramble at the Hibs end. But nothing came out. Then Kent, great chance. He skins, he cuts it inside, racks both of them. And then he shoots. Like, people are saying it's a great save for Marciano, right? And I... I'm kind of 50-50 on it, because it's kind of straight at him. You know? I mean, to me, Kent just has to score it. But I'm willing to let it slide on Kent, because he's been the main man. He's been the only guy I can say this season who can properly hold his head up high and say he's done nothing wrong. Maybe bar this. Um, so, yeah. That happened. And then, great ball over the top through the R field, shoots it straight at Marciano, gets the rebound, you're thinking all he has to do is loft this up over, over him. No, piss, I mean it's a, it's a 70 second shot, lacked the par because he was afraid of getting hurt. That's the type of vibes I was getting from it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Then the next chance, Goldson for like a 15 minute spell, couldn't keep hold of the ball and was just shite. Getting left for dead everywhere, loses it. Tav, then can't mark the guy that whips it in. To the box, and then Christian Doys it jumps Hollander, who's like, I mean, Hollander's like Ivan Drago, so how's he getting absolutely ripped to shreds in the air? Again, I mean, the whole back four is pretty shite. Like, McLaughlin can't really do much. I mean, maybe the first goal. To me, the first goal, I think McGregor would have saved because he always saves with his feet, and I just couldn't imagine McGregor getting pegged like that. So, 
maybe you can hit a bit of blame at him, but then the guy goes on to get the cross in, and etc, etc. Then we bring on Defoe. Didn't really do much, but you can see the quality Defoe possesses, because the last kick of the game, he jumps up, wins a hair, cleanly. You know what I mean? Oh, he elbowed him in the face. But see me, right? See his whole elbow in the face. See as long as there's no malicious intent and it's not meant. To me it should be perfect because that's the way you jump. It's not like the one in Hadji where the guy, you can just see he moved his fucking arm right towards his face. And here Morales takes it and scores. And then it's obviously ruled out it's offside. And I think Glenn Kamara was shite as passing. It was fucking non-existent. I mean his pass accuracy is probably less than 10. Probably like his fucking IQ. His football and ability man. I, I just don't rate Kamara. We can talk about how he plays box to box for Finland. I will just send him back to Finland. Um, but Morelos to me was pretty good today. He was one in three kicks. I mean there was a... Grogic tapped him back. And that was a free kick. And then when he, he gets completely body checked he gets booked for... It's like the, what is the referee in here? It's a joke. And then, yeah, finishes two each. Jack Ross absolutely marking it over a two each draw at home. That in, in a game, they could have very easily had won. And yeah, Cedric getting doing hee haw as per usual. So until next time, Depression Sunday, brother. <laughs>